What's up YouTube? In this tutorial, we'll be making this effect with these cards where we can scrub through multiple cards, they snap into their closest point, and we can scrub backwards to go back in the slider. This slide is connected to our text slide and we can control it with the arrows or however we'd like. So let's get started. I'm gonna head over to Webflow inside the container. I'm gonna add a div and let's give this a class of slider wrap. Inside that div, we'll have another with the class of slider left and we're gonna give this a width of 50% of its parent. Inside the slider wrap, we'll have one more div with the class of slider right. And for this one, it'll have a width of 40%. Now we need these two to be side by side. So we'll select the wrap and apply flex, align to stretch, justify left, and allow wrapping for mobile. So inside the left div, we can have a collection list and we'll pull it from the skills collection and we're going to be using the swiper library for this. So if we click on the get started tab, you'll see first we need to import the library. So this is the JavaScript and CSS for it. I'll head over to Webflow and in the page settings closing body tag, I'll add it above my code sandbox file and save it there. And if we scroll down a little further, this is the layout it wants. So we have a div of swiper, a child of swiper wrapper and children with swiper slide class. So inside Webflow, our outer wrapper here gets the class of swiper. Our inner list element here gets the class of swiper wrapper. And then the items get the class of swiper slide. So once we have that set up, we can add some paragraph text inside our slide. And I'm just gonna set this to say something like, um, let's go ahead and set it to say our skill set, And let's give it the class of slider um, sub for subheading. We'll add some more text and pull it from the title field. Give it the class of slider heading. And one more block of text and we'll pull this from the description field and give it the class of slider P for paragraph. Now we can just copy this entire swiper and paste it inside the slider right. And we can delete the text from this one because this will hold our images. So let's add a div inside the collection item. Give it the class of slider height um, let's give it 100% width, and we're going to use the percentage padding trick to set an aspect ratio, 140% top padding. Now let's select the collection item and give it a background image that pulls from our collection. And so we can style this without affecting the other collection items. Let's give it a combo of is photos. So for that, we can set the photo to center, cover, no tile, and maybe even throw on like a 1.4 EM border radius there. So let's also throw on that combo class of is photos to the entire um, swiper div. That way we can affect it without affecting this one. We'll give this one a combo class of is content. And while we're at it, let's just throw that on sort of the wrapper and let's throw that on the slides as well. I'm gonna give it some padding of 2EM just to keep this content pushed away from the slide. Also, we want this collection item to take up the full height of our photos. So we're gonna give this 100% width of its parent and 100% height. And then we'll select the wrap and we'll give that 100% width and height of its parent as well. And then for the outer swiper, we'll give that the same 100% within height. Now for this to work, the uh, left needs position relative and then the swiper can have position absolute to cover its full parent like so. And now that item's just as tall as the photos and we'll only see one photo on the live site. We also don't wanna see this text hanging there so we'll set it to overflow hidden, position relative, just to crop it off there. And also inside the slider left, we can place, paste in sort of this div with the class of arrows and it has two link blocks inside. I'm gonna give this a position of absolute and I'll anchor it to the bottom left just so it stays sort of in that corner there. And then let's just make this responsive. So right here on this breakpoint, I'm gonna grab the wrap and I'll switch it to flex vertical. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this collection item here and switch it back to relative so that way it takes up some height again. And the left div can have 100% width and we'll do the exact same thing for the right div, just 100% width. And we want the images to come first, so we'll reverse the flex direction like so. Images are on top, and we'll select this right div and just give it a bit of bottom uh, padding. Let's do something like 6M just to space it apart there. And while we're at it, let's throw on some percentage padding, maybe something like 9% on each side, 
just to make sure the photos aren't quite so wide on this breakpoint. And that's looking pretty good all the way down. I may just back down the font size on this a little bit. And it seems like we're in a pretty, pretty decent place here. So what I'm gonna do here, I think, is just go ahead and publish and we can start working out the code to set this up. So Swiper has a ton of different effects we can choose from. There we have the cube, this one is cover flow, this one is flip, and the one we'll be using is sort of the cards effect here where we can shuffle them. So I'm gonna click on the core option here. It opens up a code sandbox demo and all we really need from it is everything inside the script tag. This is what creates the effect. So we'll bring it over to our code sandbox. We want to target our collection wrapper with a class of swiper and the combo of is photos. We're going to change this variable to be photo swiper instead. And if we save this, that's really all we need to create this effect. So if I refresh here, you'll notice it's already going and working pretty nice. But we do want it to loop infinitely. We never want it to reach an end. So I'll add a comma here and set loop to true. And if I save that, now you should notice, no matter what, it just keeps going, it never ends there. Um, so we also want users to be able to control this with their keyboard, so we'll set keyboard to true. And now I should be able to use the left and right arrow keys, perfect, to navigate it there. We also need to link up these arrows while we're at it. So in the Swiper API, if I go to navigation, this is how we can pass in some arrows we wanna use. So I'll add a comma and paste that in there. We're gonna head back over to Webflow and you'll see I have these link blocks with a class of arrow and combo class of is left and is right. So we'll just basically run this here. Our next arrow will be the one with is right and our previous arrow will be the one with is left. And if we save that and refresh here, now we can use the arrows and that's working great. So now let's set up the slider for our text content here. I'm basically just gonna copy this one and create another one and call this one content swiper. And we'll change it to target the combo class of is content. Now we're not gonna link our content slider to the navigation or keyboard, but we do need to change our effect type. So we'll head over to the swiper API and we're gonna select the fade effect. And I'm just gonna copy this setting here and let's go ahead and run it um, here. So we're gonna replace the cards effect right there. And now if we refresh here, what we should notice is I can click and drag here and it's slowly crossfading between the two things of text, um, but changing this slider isn't changing this one quite yet. And also the slow crossfade feels a little bit weird with the text. Um, so what we can do is pass in a setting, follow a uh, finger, and we'll set that to false. So with follow finger false, if we refresh here, now it won't really follow us while we're dragging, we can just swipe to change it. So this one can follow our finger, that's perfectly fine but this one will just keep at a steady swipe. Uh, now let's just connect the two. So we'll head over to Code Sandbox and outside of our sliders, we can connect one slider to another. In this case, we're gonna grab our photo swiper here and we're gonna set it to control our content swiper right here. And if we save that, we should notice now, if I slide this, it's changing the text like so. I can go forward or back. And even if I use the arrow keys or use the arrows down here, they're controlling this slider, which is controlling the text. Now, if I change the text slider, it's not changing the images. So to fix that, we're just gonna copy this line down here and let's grab uh, our content swiper and we're gonna set that one to control our photo swiper. So that way we can save that and now you'll notice if I refresh here, changing this one changes the photo one, and these are all linked up and good to go. And the great thing about this is we've set up it responsively, so it works great on mobile. These are connected to each other and changing it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next one.